Hey Mandos, Nerd Carl here, and today we got some awesome Hasbro news on some Marvel Legends. Let's get into it guys. Right now I'm on the Big Bad Toy Store website, and I just got the email. We can pre-order these suckers. I know later on, about 1 p.m. today, you'll be able to pre-order these guys from Hasbro Pulse 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at all these characters, since now we're freaking Marvel Legends Masters. Check it out. The first one is Marvel Legends Loki American Flight Gear. <laughs> That's what's going to come with it. Yeah, this character to me... He doesn't look the greatest. Um, I do give Hasbro props when they do do try different molds. You know, his hair looks a little crazy like it's blown in the wind. Aww. But I mean, it's really bad that you got to buy this character Aww. to get the build a figure piece. That part always drives me nuts. <laughs> and then over here, we have, um, whatchamacallit, Aww. the same picture, you know, it's not the greatest. Not my favorite of all of them, but what have you. We'll go on to the next one. Yeah, not so cool. Let's see what else they got. Mm -hmm. So next is the Vision. Once again, another disappointment for me. I didn't watch the WandaVision or um, what should I call that? WandaVision show with Vision and um, the Scarlet Witch. I only watched like two episodes. But personally, to me, this character looks like it's still in the de de developmental stage. It doesn't even have um, you know color. There might be a thing in the show where he has this actual color scheme, but I really don't dig it. If you look at his bracers and you look at his legs, it looks like it's been pasted on with like some kind of putty. Like it's still technically being designed. And it's very underwhelming for me. And I really don't like the ab crunch on the Marvel Legend guys. It doesn't look right. They need to do something with that. That needs to be under the skin and it needs to have an outside thing. And I know that's me saying that every time. But the thing about figurines, especially the six inch line, is how can you get them to look as real as you can, but still yet, you know, stay in the same price range. You know, that looks like good posability there. It looks all right. But once again, this looks like a half-done character. It's not worth it to me. I don't, I don't dig it. Don't get me wrong. His likeness might be good, you know, or it might be closer to the real, real artist. Another thing, too, is they have to design these things based off reference. And when the show actually comes out, things are different. So I get all of that. But like I said, to me, these two characters, weak sauce. Now, coming up next, this one might be one of the character of the year uh, for me. She looks really awesome. The Scarlet Witch is killing it. When I watch the Avengers and freaking Thanos kills the Vision, Scarlet Witch is the only person that can take them on head on. She's only she's probably one of the most powerful metahumans, mutants, whatever you want to call them, inside um, the, the universe of Marvel. She is OP. And along with that being said, she looks super awesome here. That crown stays true to her comic book history. But the design stays really cool, cool to the MCU. And I really enjoy the textures inside of it. And these, these uh, effects look super awesome. Not a lot of characters have these special effects. And these ones really add benefits to it. I'm not a fan of the ab crunch. But it looks really well done on this doll. Or her action figure. She looks so good overall. And that flowing red hair. Man, you can tell like when they put effort in the characters. The difference of how what they look like and how they come out. Just look at this one compared to the first two we just saw. Like, the other two are just money grabs, and, uh, you know, so you have to get the Builder figure. But this right here is something you want in your collection. This is a centerpiece, if not a character of the year. And it's unfortunate that we have to take these really, really good ones for the really, really bad ones. But, you know, that's what collecting is all about, right? You don't have to collect everything. Just collect what you like. Unfortunately, if there's a Builder figure, you have to get it. But infinitely, this release is way better than the Shang-Chi one. I mean, look at those hands. That's so freaking cool to me. I love these effects. And then I love how they have the gloves. She looks super awesome. I love the Scarlet Witch. You know, and her being Magneto's daughter has nothing to do with it, but <laughs> it kind of helps out too. She is super awesome. Her and Quicksilver. Yeah. And then I really do like how they're doing the, the new flight wing for, um, for, for what should we call it, for Falcon. It's really cool. I mean, how are you going to make an existing thing better? And they're doing it right now. Yeah. This wave is going to be so freaking awesome. I can't wait, man. And how many pieces? There's six pieces to build this figure. That's my only qualm with Marvel 2. You have to buy a lot of figures to build one figure. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. And I'm looking at you, Mr. Hyde. Hi. Bad. All right. Now next, we have over here, we have Mr. Falcon. Falcon's pretty sick. Honestly, um, 
when I saw him take over the mantle of Captain America at first, I was like, eh, yeah. but when I watched the show, I was tearing up. I was crying. Like, he is the shit. Mm. Mackie is freaking oh, Captain girl. America. And he's not black Captain America. <laughs> I mean, he could be, but either way, so dude, that scene where him, and no spoiler, spoiler alert, but him and Bucky take on John Walker, so sick, man. I really, really, really appreciate this. And at first, I did not like the Falcon, but you know what? Falcon is represented for all of us humans out there. Him, Black Widow, Hawkeye, like we're normal people trying to be heroes, you know? We could be taken out at any time, but these guys are showing us, you know, that we shouldn't go be vigilantes per se. But, you know, we can make contributions as well. And that humans are just as exceptional or, if not, better than freaking superheroes or superhumans. We don't need a serum to prove that. And it's not about principle or anything like that. It's just his combat style, his training, you know. It looks really good. And I, there's two shields. There's the John Walker shield. If you take it from John Walker, it'll plug in his back. But this shield right here has the two little latches on it. You know, so, yeah, there's going to be two different cap shields. One that goes in his back that you steal from John Walker from the fight scene, and the one that comes with it that goes on his arm. So you'll have to get both of them if you want to get um, that scene where Sam has the what you call it has the the shield in his back. Not to mention they also made a new Captain American shield too. So I love how the new one looks. I'm probably gonna end up getting one. I know they're hundred bucks. The price doesn't ever really go down on them. Maybe like about ninety bucks, but those shields are off the his. But yeah, I really really like this Falcon. I just got the Bucky and um, the Falcon, what you call it, Endgame one. So now I'll have both of the sets. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Let's go on to the next one. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Who's next? All right, Bucky. So this is Bucky refreshed with the vibranium arm and his nice little haircut. So I did a review of this one and the comic book one. Well, not this one, but the prior one from Avengers Endgame. He looks really cool here. Honestly, when I, I really like the Winter Soldier as a character. And as an actor, Sebastian Stan kills it. He brings a lot of emotion, a lot of resonance, and he's very robust in his performance. And I really enjoy that show because of him. Mackie's like the comic relief and sense of like grounding in reality. And then you have this guy right here, ex-super soldier. And he just brings the dark and, and, the, and the light side all together in one character. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, dark and light side. I like how they did the vibranium arm, um, the black, and then you see all the little indentations inside of it. Looks really good. And then you have Sebastian Stan's face. Nice as always. They also changed up his jacket. It used to be just a straight leather jacket. Now it's got this little band over it. So there is an update there for the show. Um, it looks pretty good. I like it. I dig it. What is else? Next we have the same picture. Like I said, this character is very simple. Not too much to him. Um, he's not a bad character at all, by any means, but just very simple. I wonder what kind of accessories he comes with besides that thing, just his arm. Like you said, he looks good, just a little underwhelming. I don't know if we could have done anything else with him, but he looks good right there. Not the best, not the worst. You know, a little underwhelming, but he's a complete character, and yeah, he looks really great right there. If that's what they're going for, that look, yeah. Perfect. We love it. We love it. We love it. All right, what's next on the mention here? All right, now this one, Baron Von Zemo. So in the show, he, take, he took a big role over, which is kind of weird. We got the Falcon Winter Soldier and Baron Von Zemo. Now normally he's a main bad, game, bad guy in a lot, of the, a lot of the comic books, a really main bad guy, super pivotal. They're trying to give him a human sense to him that he lost his family, so he felt a little sympathy why he has motivations the way he does. But ultimately, he's out to get rid of, uh, you know, the Avengers and bring back Hydra as, as the main leader of Hydra. So, you know, he has his own agenda and his own thing that we have no idea what's wow. going on inside the show. Baron wow. Zemo was pretty cool. He's all right. Not my favorite, but inside the comic book world, he's really cool. I do like that one scene where they put on his thing and all of a sudden he just starts killing everybody. He's no superhero by any means or supervillain, but... They have really cool action scenes inside the show, and uh, they do really well to showcase this. Baron Von Zemo. <laughs> oh, yes. Sokovia! Have you been there since you destroyed it? Hell, nah. Like I said, he's all right. He's got accessories, which I dig. He's pretty cool. I like the swappable head. He's got a little more going on than the Winter Soldier, so there's that. 
Alrighty then. What is else? Last but not least, you know what? Out of the show, I really hated this guy. And you know what? That's a credit to the writers. That's a credit to Marvel. They made the perfect US agent. I hated John Walker. You know, but by the end of it, when he's teamed up with the guys, <clears throat> spoiler alert, I really, really digged it. But this is probably my favorite mold out of all of them. You really can't even see the articulation because it looks like every piece of armor is part of the character. I'm totally enamored with this one. The US agent has won me over. Like, if I want anything from the set, I want this guy right here. He looks so clean. And in the show, when he comes back with his revamped suit, I digged it. When I first saw him as Cap, I was like, eh. But US agent, psh, John Walker, all day. And after that played him, kudos to him too. I remember seeing him in Black Mirror in one video game special. He's a pretty good actor. I'm, I really enjoy him. And this character I enjoy as well, and I can't wait to see what he does in the second season. Yeah, John Walker looks sick here. They don't have the shield, but he has the shield that goes onto his back or that you can put in your back. You need to steal it from him to give it to Mr. Uh, what's your call? US, uh, give it to Falcon. Now, I don't see it here, but I did watch it in the Hasbro stream, and that's what he did. That's what they did say. And he also put the, the shield in his back so we didn't know. So that is a little weird. Maybe they have it inside there. They don't want to showcase it with it. it maybe it's below it. I don't know. But it's supposed to be in there. Ultimately, guys, I really, really, really dig this release. Um, it's super freaking awesome. Big Bad Toy Store. It's a great place. Um, you can pre-order them there. Um, normally, if you pre-order from Hasbro Pulse, you don't get it at the same time. Um, but check it out here. They got the whole entire wave. Ready to go for $164.99. Now, I noticed they raised the price on these characters. Um, yeah, these build figures are, are like almost $25 a piece. So that's a $5 increase on these Marvel Legends. One thing I'm not liking, but you know what? Hopefully when they get in store, they have a lower price in some locations. Or like at Brad's, they're still $22.99. So you'll still be paying $2 less. We'll see what happens when they actually come out. Heck yeah, guys. And once again, that John Walker one is off the hook. Sweet. If you guys like that little update with the news and the new characters coming out, please hit that like and hit that subscribe. And like always, Mandos, may the Nurk be with you. Peace out, bros. Time to film some more videos. Let's go, Mandos.